Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt. This is Omar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Sounds a, a little bit strange. I'm joined by Bradley Ski. To be honest, I didn't think I'd be uh, saying this for a while. Maybe if you came back to boxing in, in a different role, whatever, because you've been out of the sport for what now, two years. But uh, you've decided yeah. to make a, a comeback, Brad. Why? Yeah. Do you know what, Omar? I've never, I, like, obviously, out of my last three fights, I lost two of them. My last one, like, obviously... Didn't go too well, um, getting stopped by by someone who shouldn't like sh- shouldn't be lacing my boots. Do you know what I mean? But things happen in boxing. It's just one of them, um, and I just needed obviously to just have some time off and have a rest and think what I was going to do. But in that time, I never like said I was retired or anything. I just obviously took a rest, and obviously the time went on, and people would just assume that I'd, I'd retired. Obviously, started the PT in. And then, um, yeah, like everyone just obviously thought that's the route I was going to go down. But obviously, I've been in the gym PT and I always had that little buzz for boxing. Do you know what I mean? I, and I didn't say I was retired. And um, how, how it all come about, um, Naz's, Naz, Naz's boys come to the gym with Naz because I've been training a uh, little Lightning Junior up in the gym. And uh, they was like, oh, come down to Sheffield. Like, like come down there, you love the gym, and obviously I knew obviously boxing for years now. I knew about the Ingle Gym. Um, spoke spoke to uh, Brendan a few times, funnily enough, uh, at a few uh, boxers writers. Um, a kid growing up, obviously I love Naz Naz, my old, my idol. Um, so obviously I knew knew about the gym and everything. But yeah, then when then Naz and, and Adam and Sammy come down to the gym, we went we come up here for a week, and obviously I come with lightning. Um, done a bit with him and then I've done a bit myself up here and really enjoyed it and then um, I started to chat with Dom and then he was basically saying like I said like what, what's, what's, what's the plans what are you doing and then being in the gym I just I've just felt a buzz and just felt like I wanted to get back to boxing and I wanted to, wanted to actually get back to training and I just ch- had a chat with him and he said he, I was more than welcome to come up and, and train and yeah here I am today sitting in Billy Joe's house <laughs> You've got a lot of properties up in Sheffield. Uh, Bradley, how long have you spent now at the Ingle Gym? Um, this is my probably fifth week up here now. I had I had a week up here just coming up here with Lightning. Then we had a week off because Liam and Willie was fighting. So that was their fight week. So And then I come back and then that's when we moved in. Um, so just beginning of October was the start of October. So, yeah. So in them five weeks, have you made your mind up in terms of you will be back in a ring next year? Or is this 100%. just a feeling that process? Oh, you made your mind up, yeah. 100%. Yeah, I've lost, I've lost a, a stone in weight. I come up here, like, I've knuckled down, got back on it straight away. Like, just got like, straight back in the deep end, straight back to training. Been grafting, been, been living a life. Obviously, it's a big sacrifice for me moving away. Um, giving up work, everything. Um, so I'm up here Monday to Friday. And uh, yeah, I'm 100% coming back. I'll be back in the new year, um, early new year, hopefully. And uh, yeah, ready to, ready to go. I, I feel fresh. I've had a good rest. Um, I've had longer than, than what I should have had off. But listen, I feel like it's done me a favour. I feel like it's done me good. I feel, I feel a million dollars. Um, I'm in the gym. I'm buzzing again. I'm enjoying my training. Um, yeah, it just feels really good to be back. What about promotion as well? What's going to happen there, Bradley? I'm uh, free at the minute, um, to be honest. Um, obviously, my contract with Queensbury and Frank uh, uh, has expired and um, no management at the minute. So that would be the next step to obviously sort out where what I'll be doing promotionally and what, what management and that. But for now, I think just, just grafting in the gym and, and carrying on with what I'm doing. Is, is the main main thing. Uh, have you sparred much in the Ingle Gym yet? 
yeah, spar sparred from the first day. I come, they do a lot of body sparring. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've sparred from the first day, day, day I come here. I've been, been doing a lot of rounds, um, mixing everyone, spars everyone, I've been mixing in um, with everyone and, and, and really enjoying it. It was weird because body sparring is, I've not really done. It's always done open sparring. So, uh, yeah, that was an eye opener because obviously you're in your full sparring kit, like head gun, gum shield, everything, or protector, everything on. And, and literally, it's, it's, it's like an open spar, but obviously not hitting to the head. So, uh, yeah, that, at the first week, I'll come home all lumps and bumps and bruises everywhere over my body. But that took some getting used to. But yeah, re really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Was there any period uh, in that two year gap? Where you thought, yeah, I will come back. Like, were you, were you, did it have it? Did you have it in your mind that you will come back one day? Just not sure when. Yeah, hundred percent. I'd never, I never thought about retiring. I always wanted to get back. To be honest with you, after my last fight, I just, I needed, I needed some time off. I needed a, a not a rest, but I just needed some time off. Like, um, and I, I was always going to have some time off anyway. Uh, and then it just one thing led to the other. Just the time was just going, going, going. And then before I knew it, a year had gone past. And then we started the new year. And then obviously COVID come. And then that put like me back a, a lot. So really this year I wrote off anyway because with the, with the COVID and everything. I know boxing has been going on, but just where I was at, I just, I just, um, yeah, just it's just it's. I, I should have been back sooner, but things happen for a reason, I believe. Hmm. And with Dominic Ingle now in your corner, where do you think you can go and what do you think you can still achieve, Brad? Um, I, I think, obviously, Dom's a world-class trainer. He, he's proven he's been there and done it. He's been boxing, been round boxing all his life, obviously, with his dad, Brendan. Um, so he's, he's, got, he's got a list of champions and world champions under his belt. Um, I'm 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 just going to be realistic. I, I'm come I'm going to come back and I won't be doing well to wait no more. I'm going to come back at 154. So there's there's some great domestic fights out there, and obviously I, I I'm the king of the world weights. I'm still the king of the world weights. I I own the British title outright. No one's done it since me. So I've, I'm domestically and I know I'm the best there. Um, but obviously I believe having this time off and coming back, it's a new fresh start. A new it's all fresh from it's all new beginning. It's a fresh start, as in I've got Dom now. I'm obviously not at iBox no more with Al Smith and Eddie Lamb. So um, it's a new fresh start. And, and going into a new weight division, it'll be a new fresh start for me. So I'll be looking to come back uh, uh, domestically and then see what I can do there. And I'd love my goal, next goal would be to win that European title. I was unsuccessful at World Week. So I'd love to challenge for it, I believe. I, I, I'm, I'm more than capable of being a European champion, um, so that would be my goal, my my future goal to win a European title. And like, after that, who knows? I can I can go on and keep, keep winning and, and doing well. Who knows? Do you know what I mean? I'll get you. I'll get you, Brad. Well, listen, it's good to see you back in the sport. Hopefully, see you in the ring early part of next year. Best of luck um, for the rest of the the last two months of the year with uh, Mr. Dominic Ingle. And uh, yeah, as I said, good to see you back in the sport. Thanks, man. Thanks so much. Cheers, bro. Thanks for, thanks for having me on. Thanks for talking to me. Top man, Bradley. Best of luck. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.